morning, everyone. Welcome to Coastal Living. Today, we're bringing you an Around the Bend special from the beautiful city of Beeville, Texas. That's right, and a lot of you at home are probably wondering, what is there to do right here in this beautiful town? That's right, but believe it or not, there are a ton of great things to keep you entertained, so we're gonna bring you with us on a journey around town to find out what all the buzz is about. Celebrating everything the Coastal Bend has to offer. This is a great place to live, so let's talk about it. Get the scoop on the latest trends, popular fashions, hottest music, exciting events, and so much more. Come on, let's have some fun. This is Coastal Living on KZTV. Now your host, Clarissa Serna. All right, we've made it to Beeville. Now, first on the list, we need to figure out where we're gonna stay. Let's check out some of the most unique houses for our weekend getaway. Hi, welcome to Double J Cattle Company. I'm Jennifer Morris, and this is Jeremy Morris. And we're here to invite you to come stay at our Airbnb cabins. We have Double J um, Cabin by the Pond, and we also have Cabin by the Creek. The cabins are beautiful. Uh, my husband and my son made them from the ground up, and we just love to share them with people. There's a very down-home feel here, um, super relaxing. Uh, we have um, fire pits, we have stock ponds where you can fish and catch the big one, and um, we have uh, barbecue pits, of course. And um, we're also, we sell um, our beef. We're a Double J Cattle Company, obviously, so we have fresh uh, black Angus cattle, and um, our guests enjoy uh, grilling our steaks. So we are veteran-owned, and um, we have two other businesses. Uh, we have The Stand, which is a storefront where we sell our beef and other local artisan products. And we also have um, The Dinner Bell, which is um, a service that we provide. It's amazing lunches. We use our fresh beef to create the lunches and we pr offer those to our guests. So we would like to invite you to book today, come out and experience Double J Cattle Company for yourself. Well, that was just the most adorable little spot, but I'm sure you want some options when picking hotels. So let's head over to the Inn at Silver Oak. Hi, I'm Joan Riley, and I'm the owner of the Inn at Silver Oaks. I hope that you'll come stay with us. The Inn at Silver Oak is perfect for those who wanna stay in a huge house full of history. The Inn was built in 1892, surrounded by beautiful majestic oaks. This old house is full of history from being a dairy farm to a meat market, and now a place for couples, travelers, and families to come enjoy. Start your engines. We're hitting the fast lane and racing the Texas Mile. The Texas Mile is a top speed motorsports event, and it is from amateurs to professionals, and it is your top speed in one mile, and it can be your everyday vehicle, or it can be a race car or a motorcycle as well. So it's an event for everybody. And then we also have the more on the more extreme side, people that are doing 240. Here in Beeville, Texas, they have been able to achieve right under 250 miles per hour on both a motorcycle and in a car. Pump the brakes, 250 miles an hour. Talk about fast. My favorite part about the Texas Mile is that I can run my car as fast as I want or as fast as it'll go without getting in trouble by police or cops. You know, me and my buddy got went up there and he had a brand new bed, I had a brand new Camaro and they were both just stock vehicles and he swore he could outrun me in that bed and then I ended up outrunning him. I'm still giving it hell every time and I just like it. A lot of camaraderie out there. The people that run it are super nice to us. You know, we've been a sponsor of the Texas Mile for like six or seven years. But the Texas Mile isn't just about going fast. It also has a positive economic impact on the community. Shannon, how much exactly? Of about two million an event of money that comes into the community. Wow, that's a lot of money. What are some other ways the Texas Mile helps out the community? And we believe in really giving back. So we have the uh, Warrior Weekend that comes out and does fundraisers as well as the Lions Club. Overall, the Texas Mile just seems like the perfect event for the whole family to enjoy. If you have a love for top speed, or if you have a love for vehicles, or just the energy that surrounds that, and to see some people challenging some pretty major feats, children um, are able to get in for free. You wanna bring out your own cooler or anything of that nature to bring out your own food and your own drinks, 
It's like having a picnic or a backyard barbecue, um, but instead of horseshoes, the entertainment is fast cars and fast motorcycles. The Texas Mile will be in Beeville, Texas at Chase Field on October 29th to the 31st. It's an all-day event for the whole family to enjoy, so make sure you bring the whole gang out to Beeville. Come on out to the Texas Mile. It's only $25 per person um, for the entire weekend that you're able to come, and you can bring the kiddos. It's just a good time to come out and enjoy with good family and friends. Another great thing about Beeville are their iconic bee sculptures, which can be found all around town. Get it? Beeville. Today we're going to explore the meaning behind these bees, why they're important to the community, we'll meet the artists that created some of them, and we'll participate in the scavenger hunt to locate all the bees here in Beeville. The Bee Project has three purposes, to promote bee awareness, create a neighborhood positive impression, and to raise money for Coastal Bend College student scholarships. It achieved all three goals. I would like to thank all who gave their ideas, talent, and vision to this project. From CBC Foundation board members, artists, maintenance help, and B sponsors, you are the heart of a great community effort to educate, beautify, and commit to a healthy environment. It's said that a picture is worth a thousand words, and you will see that our B pictures speak volumes about the project's impact on B awareness community involvement, and student success. If anyone else would like to own a bee, please call Madeline Madden at 361-354-2520 for more information. The bees are important to the Beeville community because we are a bee city is one thing. We've been awarded that and it puts us on the map as a bee city, I guess. It supports the college and young students at the college with scholarships and it's a fun thing in town. A lot of other towns have done this before and we're just one of them and we hope that the bees will stay around for years. We've had maybe 30 or out in the community and we're still accepting more. Well, now that we know everything there is to know about the Beeville bees, I think it's about time to start this scavenger hunt. Are you ready, Jocelyn? I think so. Let's go get our buzz on. Let's do it. I already found one. <laughs> Coca-Cola one. Cool. Cool. What this else is a nice on one. It? Time. That's not Lady Liberty, but it's something I cool. see the Rialto right here. Nice. Coastal Bend College. Love it. Love it. Love the flowers. Very cute. Well, that's a wrap for today's scavenger hunt. I think we did pretty good. We found quite a few bees in a pretty small part of Beeville. I know that there are more. But we got lucky and even met one of the artists literally just walking around here. I had fun. I know, I did too. What are the odds of that? And it was a great way to, uh, I guess, start your day with some good cardio. So I encourage yeah. anybody to come uh, go on the same hunt. I agree. Take a picture with every bee and find out which one's your favorite. Good job. Good job, Clarissa. Hi, welcome to the BVL Art Museum. My name is Sydney, and I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about the museum and what we do. The Beagle Art Museum is, above everything else, an educational museum. We want to bring um, arts and education to the Beagle community, encourage people to be um, active in the, their community, and just beautify the place where we live as well. The Beagle Art Museum has rotating exhibitions multiple times a year. Right now we have work by uh, Stitch artists, so seven really wonderful ladies who uh, use work in textiles and fabric. And then on the other side of the museum, we currently have work by um, an artist named Lehman Green, and he makes work about uh, migration and the African-American identity. Hope you guys can stop by the Beeville Art Museum. Uh, being funded by the Joe Barnhart Foundation, we are fully free. Um, so we offer lots of programming and tons of opportunities for everyone in our community. So we hope you can stop by and celebrate art in our community. Well, we know that Beeville has so many great things to offer, but did you know that one of those things is bird watching? Now, how do we go about bird watching if you're a beginner like myself? We have Jimmy here, a birding expert here, to tell us a few tips. Sure. The, uh, the first thing you have to have to go bird watching is eyes, but after that, you very seldom see the birds close enough to appreciate them, so you need a pair of binoculars. But binoculars are mandatory, and they've gotten much cheaper in recent years. 
The next thing you have to do is find the birds. And there's two ways you can find them. You can walk out in the brush and get under the trees and search them out. They're out there. And when you see one, well, then you get on the binoculars and try to identify them. You can't identify them without a bird book. You have to get a bird guide. Otherwise, you're just taking wild guesses. So you get a bird guide and carry it in a little deal. You've got your binoculars here. You've got your two legs. You get out and walk around. You find a place where it's kind of away from a lot of people. And uh, that's where you're going to find the birds. This place is 70 acres here. And I've got water drips down in the pasture. And I've got game cameras there. And every day or two, I go and check my game cameras. and. Uh, and see what came. And birds come in there, white tip doves, green jays, uh, lots of painted bunnings, a lot of beautiful birds, uh, uh, kiskadee flycatchers. Some of the really specialty South Texas birds are located right here in Beeville, Texas, and Bee County. So that's kind of the basics now. Right. Got any more questions? I think that's good for us. I think it's a perfect list to get us all started for any beginners. So I'm ready to go bird watching. You're going to show me the way? Well, sure. We can just <laughs> head out there in the pasture. All right. Or you can climb up in that tree right there. I'm feeling pretty limber. I might go for it. Well, the next time you visit the beautiful town of Beeville, one thing you're going to want to do is shopping. So here are three places that you're going to want to hit up. Hi, this is Mary with Wicker Basket in Beeville. And I'm thrilled that you're here today to visit Wicker Basket. We love to help you and we have a huge variety of products, probably over two to three hundred different brands in our store. We carry clothing, Brighton jewelry, other jewelry, home decor, children's clothes, women's clothes, <laughs> on and on and on, bath products and candles. So I think you can find a treasure here and we'll wrap it for free if it's a gift. If you're in Beeville, please drop by Wicker Basket. We'd be thrilled to help you and uh, let you look around and have a good time with your friends shopping. Hi, I'm Mark Parsons. My wife, Debbie, and myself are owners of Hoag's Jewelry. We've been in business since 1976, so we've been around for a while. We specialize in fine jewelry and gift items also. Most of these pieces are really one of a kind, so it's as individual as the, as the person is also. We try to carry a wide variety of things, both in gold and silver, and a combination, as well as gift items also. We just try to fit what they're looking for. We'd like to welcome you to our jewelry store. Come visit us, please, here in Beeville, Texas. We have a wide variety, and we'll certainly try to please you. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Karen West, and I'm the owner of Full Circle Village in Beeville. And I'm Valkina Wharton, and I'm the manager of Full Circle Village in Beeville. <laughs> Customers usually don't know what to expect. They walk in the door and they're quite surprised at how large we are inside because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a big building that looks like small from the outside. Mm -hmm. But when they walk in, we like to say that we've got something for mm -hmm. everyone, every budget. It doesn't matter if you have a dollar in your pocket or a thousand dollars. If you're a baby or a baby boomer, we have something for everyone. <laughs> from furniture to crystals to jewelry, um, essential oils. Um, we have furniture, lots of furniture. fresh baked goods, mm -hmm. snacks, clothing. And those are good. <laughs> and of course, antiques, vintage, home mm -hmm. decor, we have something for everyone. The biggest comment we have is, I could spend hours in here. Mm -hmm. And we have customers that do that. They'll be in here two and three hours. Everybody, we want you to come and see us um, here in Beeville at the uh, College North Shopping Center, 1909 North St. Mary's. And as we like to say, make a beeline for Full Circle <laughs> Village and see what the buzz is all about. There you go. Come see us. Welcome to the Bird Claire Mansion. My name is Erie Head and with me I have Irene Zimmer. We hope that you would come to visit us. We have tours and uh, we'll take you through and, and uh, so that you can see the house. Uh, one of our docents is Irene Zimmer and she will gladly give you a tour. And would you share the time? And it, It's the last Sunday of every month. We start our first tour at one o'clock and we start our second tour at 2.30. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we're already having so much fun with all the great things there are to do here in Beeville, Texas, but I'll tell you what, Jocelyn, I'm working up an appetite. Oh yes, Clarissa, I am too, but I have to say I am having a blast so far. Well, so am I, and I hope you'll stay with us because when we return from break, we're discovering all the great places to eat in this beautiful city.
You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV, the only lifestyle show made in the Coastal Bend for the Coastal Bend. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.